What's up guys, welcome back to Huffman Aftech. So iOS 14 is big right now and in terms of the way you customize your iPhone, this is what's basically happening. iPhone, Android, one thing, that's you know, iOS is trying to be more like Android now, giving users more option to customize their screens, but it now has an option that, you know, sort of distinguishes it from most Android devices, and that is Backtap. And if you don't know what I mean by Backtap, let me just do my screen recording here so that you'll be able to see my screen. And I'll put my screen somewhere here. So yeah, you see my screen right now. So if I double tap my phone here on the back just like you see that it takes a screenshot right if i if you think that was an accident let me just double tap again so that you see see that it takes a screenshot if i triple tap one two three see that it opens siri right so back tap is another accessibility way that you can sort of customize your device to perform a function faster so let's say you know i don't want to hold two buttons in order for me to take a screenshot i can just double tap or i can even set it to whatever i want to so the way you access backtap you go into your settings and then you go to accessibility and then go to touch and then if you scroll all the way down and you know you see that option there that says backtap and I have it on you can choose a function for double tap for me I have it set to screenshot and also you can choose a function for triple tap and for me I have it set to Siri so you can see that there are different options for double tap and triple tap you can you know select whatever fits your need right but if you have an iPhone 6s or the iPhone SE first generation SE, I believe this SE, right? You notice that, you know, you actually don't have back tap. Also, if you have the iPhone 7 and 7 plus, if you go to your settings and do the same just as we did, you won't see this back tap feature. So I'm going to explain why this is so and you know what's going on right so basically when it comes to back tap right now it seems to be available to devices that have you know the glass back so if i'm to take my iphone out of this case here you see that you know my iphone x here has a glass back you know it looks fancy and all but quick fact if you actually break your front glass that you see here it's cheaper to replace than actually replacing your back glass so you know glass phones look fancy and all and they have wireless charging but you know if you break the back it's gonna cost you big in the wallet right so ios 14 back tap seems to be available right now to devices that have wireless charging and if you know iphones wireless charging came to the iphone from the iphone 8 and beyond even the smaller 2020 iphone se that was released earlier this year has wireless charging it has a glass back if you break it remember yeah so it has back tap for that reason so it is being said that you know most devices that have wireless charging right now have advanced accelerometer and you know this works hand in hand with the gyro so that you know it can sort of interpret movements and the you know the orientation of the device and so on that's why you find that you know if you double tap your device that has a glass back it's more responsive unlike one that doesn't have a glass back like all these devices that i have here so these ones that don't have the glass back don't have back tap because you know of the responsiveness of the gyro and accelerometer devices that have the glass back are more responsive and so for that reason they have back tap because the responsiveness of these devices to touches and taps is more responsive unlike these other ones that don't have the glass back so that's a small explanation also if you have like a device that doesn't have the physical home button like the iphone x xs max and the iphone 11 and 11 pro max those devices have actually like an advanced accelerometer so you are more likely to actually perform you know these back tap shortcut touches when it comes to you know those devices unlike the iphone 8 of course it's supported but you know the accelerometer that it uses isn't advanced as the one that is found in those that don't have the physical home button so unfortunately for the iphone se first generation and also 
also for the iPhone 6 and 6s plus and iPhone 7 and 7 plus there's no back tap and this seems to be the most logical reason why there is no back tap but you know if you have an iPhone 8 you can use back tap and you know back tap also works even if you have a case on your device this is quite responsive sometimes you know you might get accidental touches here and there for example if you put your phone in your pocket and you you know you go like this sometimes you find a bunch of screenshots but i think for me on my iphone x so far i've been okay when it comes to back tap and you know with this thick case it will actually work so that's about it for me guys when it comes to a brief explanation when it comes to back tap you see that it was probably the case i guess that i put on but that's about it for me if you like this video drop a like hit subscribe if you haven't yet done so and yeah i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace